we could all be Hogan's heroes. You know what Hogan's Heroes was about? was about these guys who survived, these Americans, but they are in the, under the grip of the Nazis. Now, this is why you can't sink the um, old American black Negro. This is where we get our fun, our music. But look at it in those days. You couldn't be on stage unless you were pristine good. Even in Hong Kong, um, when, when I remember my mother told me that they used to have competitions of kite flying. They would put razor blades on it. If you weren't good, you'd, you'd be gone. If you, weren't be, if you weren't good, you were gone. Not only that, if you were in the Olympics and you were skating and you made a mistake, you'd be gone. You wouldn't continue. Now, Only in Hong Kong is a book, and I'm sure it's going to be very deprecating of the British toward the, the idiosyncrasies of Hong Kong, but I, I'm telling you that the, um, the mixed races and the China, uh, like my mother, for instance, they just kind of joke about the, the, uh, the, the British. And that's why, in a way, they, they didn't hate them, but they know very well when they are being, um, you know, suppressed, oppressed, right? The power of oppression, let me get this straight here. There is a power of oppression, okay? When you're oppressed, you've got powers because you can laugh and make jokes like Hogan's Heroes of Clank. You can laugh as a Hong Konger about the British just like Clank because you got you let the pressure off, you let the steam off, but it, it produces a little bit a bit of that humor in you. A sense of humor about life that it, it helps you to understand what's really important. What is really important is your talent, your ability, your body, your mind. But see, now they took away your body and your mind and your talent and your ability because they poisoned our food. So, what do you do when Hogan is no longer gorgeous Bob Crane? And I wonder what happened to him, really now. I'm very confused now. But anyways, my point is, there is power in being oppressed, and nobody ever gives you your rights. Don't let anyone give you your rights. Your rights are intrinsic to you forever, from the beginning of time till the end of time. They're yours. They always have been. But like Jesus said, just define which rights you're talking about because if you're talking about mammon that's not a right that is something that you should just use to your advantage your right is your humor your mind your self-discovery in the midst of oppression and the fact that you can look at yourself in the mirror because you've got some frickin um soul and look at all the old footage and then you'll see what why there's a lot of uh, blacks and whites uh, making fantastic music together why is everybody talking about being oppressed meanwhile they're getting uglier and stupider and less talented than ever in history because they can't shut up they cannot shut up they don't have any sense of humor and the Amityville Horror Priest said evil does not have a sense of humor. Um, it's very confused. He, he, he advised the people living in a haunted house. He says, have a sense of humor because evil gets very confused. That was on the Art Bell show or something like that. Evil gets very confused when you express humor. It hates a sense, your own sense of humor. <sighs> Terrific. Terrific, Chuck Berry. <laughs>